guys. It's been a while since I've done an update on the Mustang. Um, I've made quite a few changes to it. I was having so much trouble with the car running lean and not figuring out what was going on there. So I scrapped the A9 computer and I went to a micro squirt from the FI source. And the first thing I found out when I stuck the new computer on and turned on Tuner Studio was that the uh, coolant sensor for the computer uh, the wire wasn't getting a good connection so it was showing the wrong reading. So that could have been the majority of my issue with the lean condition and it just running odd. Um, but I probably never would have found that out without switching. Now no more mass air meter, no more not being able to tune it or having to you know rely on somebody else. It's got a micro squirt in there. It works awesome. I built a cold air kit which I kind of showed in the intro video. I'll show you more about that. Um, I did take it to the track uh, on the micro squirt and uh, just know that I haven't tuned on the micro squirt. It's the tune that comes in a micro squirt is a factory A9L tune. factory timing, fuel, all that stuff. I, I did have to add fuel at the top end because it was really lean because it's now speed density and it, it can't uh, compensate for that. So I did add fuel up top, but I did not mess with the timing curve at all. And the first and only pass I got at the track was the best ET in mile an hour the car has run in the eighth mile to date. And that was a relatively easy launch that wasn't revving it out through all the gears. I just wanted to get a pass to see how everything lined out. And it was a little bit lean from where you'd want it, but it was still like low 13s, high 12. So it wasn't bad. Um, so, but I'm still having an issue with the fuel pump um, intermittently not running. I don't know if it's the relay. I don't know if it's just the connections. I don't know if it's the pump overheating. So I'm gonna just take apart all that stuff dielectric grease, clean the terminals, put it all back together and see if that fixes it. Um, and that's going to be my final straw from just ripping it all out and putting a fuel system in the car. Um, so that's where the car is at right now. Um, I just picked up a 33 spline spool with axles and C-clip eliminators that will be going in the car. I'm going to stay with the 410 gears uh, for now, but uh, that's coming on the horizon. I just want to get it back out to the track, tune the ignition curve better, um, see if I can get this thing to go 750s in the 8th. It went 774 at uh, 89 and a half miles an hour, so it was literally the best pass it's ever made. Um, so I'm pretty psyched about that. Um, that's about it for now. I'll, I'll add to this when I can. Take it easy. One thing I want to add on the micro squirt thing here is they sell it with what they consider to be a stock uh, basically mass air Mustang tune. Um, fuel, uh, all the, the, the idle air control settings, the warm up, the, the fuel tables and all that. But the thing you have to understand is it, the factory system uses a mass air meter so that is able to compensate for airflow where the map that is loaded in here is into a speed density setup and the speed density setup does not really have a way of, of correcting um, because it's not, meeting, it's not metering the air coming in, it's not adjusting for airflow. So the only tuning that I've done to the car is to just richen up the mixture at wide open throttle uh, because when I first hooked this up and drove the car, anything over 3000 RPM, 3500 at anything uh, aggressive throttle, it would just go dead lean and, and sputter. So once I threw some fuel up there, it, it runs awesome. So love the kit. Uh, the, this, this thing is like 475 bucks plus 15 bucks shipping. I mean, you could sell your A9L or A9P. I had an A9P in this car. Um, I sold it and the air meter for 200 bucks. Um, I know I probably could have got more, but it was a buddy of mine. So 
hooked him up. Um, so I'm in this thing for 275 bucks, and it, you know, there's just no comparison. I mean, there, there's nothing else out there in this cost range. I mean, you can buy a tweaker or, or a, a quarter horse, which is about the same amount of money, but you're just tuning the stock computer. You're, you're not, you don't, I've had a tweaker before. It, they work pretty good, but there's always some table you missed that does something that you don't want it to do. So anyway, this is an awesome alternative for the budget Fox body guy. And it's, it's awesome. Plus it teaches you how to tune your car instead of relying on other people. So in ditching the A9 computer and mass air uh, to the micro squirt, which is a speed density setup, I no longer need a mass air meter, call it restrictive, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I built this nice cold air pipe right here. Um, just got a silicone elbow coming off the throttle body, four inch pipe. And it sticks out right in the headlight. I'm going to end up making that a bell mouth so it feeds a little bit better. Um, but so far, so good. My air inlet temperatures were awesome on that pass. It was, a, it was a great day. It was probably 65 degrees, 60, 65 degrees at the track. My uh, air inlet temps on the, in the burnout were around 115. And everybody that knows Fox Bodies knows that the sensor is in the lower intake right there. Um, so they do read a little bit warm. The engine temperature was about a buck 40. Um, and at the end of the pass, my air inlet temperature was at 87 degrees and dropping the whole time. If this would have been a quarter mile pass, it would have probably been in the 70s. So love it. Worked awesome.